they will go into the next round with one point each. As you can see, when it comes to unit choices here, again, we're pretty similar here, pretty similar on the strategy in terms of what classes they're using. A lot more short swords on the, on the attack here. Um, but the defense only has a couple of muskets and one short bow once again. And then, yeah, the majority are mauls and short swords for this one. Once again, no modals being picked because not allowed. So that's good. And there is no jab cap in the map, though. That is also good stuff. So no bans, no thing here. Yeah, half of, half of the, the treads. Be Absolutely, the thank you for the follow. Speed. Welcome to the clan, appreciate it. Fazzy, Rich Panda, Axonex, Black Gent, T Burden, thank you for the follows. What is this fiesta? Slide cutie, how are you doing, buddy? So now we've got the buttons under control, I think. Fingers crossed, we've got the buttons under control, right? This is CB Rivals, yes, this is CB Rivals. We have the first rounds tonight. Black Army want to be good players. <laughs> okay, so we'll Z the map, we'll up, we'll go straight up. I don't know why it's so slow. I'm gonna be gonna slow it down a wee bit, but there we go. There we go. That's that's what we want to see. There we go. I've slowed it down a little bit. We can alt this away here as well. And as you can see, different strategy. Slavs going straight up the wall. Black Army have no units. They're not defending A whatsoever. They're doing a totally different strategy. Then the last way around, as you can see, Black Army is setting up in the back here, not defending A. Silicon sees that, he's climbing the ladder, you've only got one hero on the wall defending that. A and B will be a free take, and it's going to give them plenty of time, but there's no artillery. So that is where the defensive strategy comes into play here. There's no artillery, so you can't spam artillery, you can't do anything else. You've got an interesting strategy from here on out. So unit-wise... Yeah, the attack have brought Keshex. Interesting. Interesting. They brought the Keshex out, ready to wait for that gate coming out straight away. Keshex on the defense as well. A few Falconettis and Fortabrachios and IPGs all out in the defense. One unit of Palaskars. So A and B is going to give them a lot of time here for this fight, though. That is the difference that Slavs played it away. They didn't want to give them time. They wanted to try and wipe them before the time, before that additional time. And it definitely made a difference. It finished the game so quickly. Now, this is going to be a back and forward. We're going to have at least fifth, almost 15 minutes here to take C. Almost 15 minutes for the side of Slavs to try and fight for that one point. So we're at 14 minutes and 10 seconds. As you can see, set up in the corner here around the supply point. You've got Pretty much just needing the Slavs to kind of reorganize, get themselves set because there's nothing they can do. There's no artillery spam. You can't be whittling down units here at this point in time. It is all about the hero pushes and the unit pushes. So getting everybody clumped up together as quickly as they can and trying to work out from there where they're going. It looks like they're all kind of going center wall, um, the majority of them. There's a couple of units down this on this right hand side here, as you on my right hand side, as you can see. So we'll wait and see. Where, uh, where it all comes from here. They're going to know they're going to get cab spam, so it's all about working and getting the units in the right places. Tomsky, Langaro, thank you for the follows. Adapruz, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the clan. But this is this is it. We've got plenty of units, plenty of trebs, every single treb in play with C being the major area to hit trebs. There is so much area space to hit trebs here on this map, on the C point for sure. But yeah, as you can see, nothing here can be used. No artillery is getting used, nothing. They're trying to break down the breach, which is interesting. This makes sense because the breach is down to 20, 18% now. So they're using the cannons on the outside to break the breach. Well, they've done that. They're just all set and ranged, ready to go from the top of the wall. No defences on this left side, apart from the cav in the back that you can see there. You've got IPGs down the centre by the looks of it. And that's a big push here coming down this left-hand side. So all of them are going down the left side of the unit. All of them coming down the small staircase. Which does make it obvious because 
all of them are defending at the supply point. So the defense of the supply point is always a crucial part on this map. However, if you just all push down one side here, they've got a long rotation around it. It just means they will be changing out the cav uh, potentially. Hey Alexi, how are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, we'll go back to that zoom in there. We'll go back to that. We don't even want to see. We don't want to see the back end of players at this point in time. Still no pushes though. We've got some range units coming into play here, and they're gonna try and whittle them down. We've got a couple of sets of nine cans out here, and they're just gonna try and bleed some of the units down there if they can. Marco called on a trebuchet. This is going to be interesting to call it. So they're pre-trebbing the stairwell. Does that mean they are ready to do the push? They've moved moved the push here and units are coming down now. I don't know why this is not letting me scroll down now. Units are coming down this stairwell, left stair stairwell. There's going to have to be a big rotation from units here. You've got Keshex coming around the back kind of side corner here. And IPGs coming onto the point. Splitting themselves up quite nicely though, the Slavs. And going towards the C point. The Keshex are going to be defended here. But as you can see on home, onto the C point here, we have a good fight coming in place. Palace guards are ready. IPGs are ready. But there's charges back and forward. Here comes a unit of Keshex trying to clear out some units. Galahad falls. Couple more units then. IPGs are hitting a march across the map. But here comes some Keshex from Slavs with Dandan. Dan, is down. How many more people can be fingered here? Is there going to be a pre treb onto that home point? Keshek's coming in. Oh, Black Order Hill is down. There's so much, so much going on in the center here. As you can see, p plenty of Keshek's being used. And another set of Keshek's coming the here from Shepo. Pre treb is in. Shepo comes in with the units. People. Is he going to get a couple of kills? There goes General Combo. Falters down to the Keshek's. Another unit. And another person dying to Keshex again. A couple of units here now. There we go. Shepo with another kill. Marco falters. But it's a hand-to-hand -hand combat on the point here. Well, they un take the units out. And it looks like they're going to grab C here at this point. There's only one hero stopping it. And it's Shepo who had the multiple kills there on the point. Slavs wipe them off of the point. Are they going to get the units in to defend this? Here comes some more cav coming from the supply point. And that's a nice wee cav charge here. IPGs aren't prepared for that. Units are whittling down. The Namcans are dealing with some damage, but a good set of Keshex here from Matt. Deja Vu falls down. We've got some units getting wiped out as they start pushing them back and they've step stopped the sea cap. Some more Keshex in. Units and heroes are already. Are we going to see some Armagard pushes here? Fort Abrasio still coming through the gate and still moving. They can be taken out straight away here. Silent Rave caught with his unit still moving. Fazzy goes down. Capping is underway once again, but a couple of heroes to stop that. Well, the Cav come back in. Keshex trying to take out the units here at the end. Only Gelishu left to defend the point. Van Blade falters down, but there's plenty of heroes on the C point. Here comes, oh, that treb. That's a deterrent treb. That worked out really well. Now they can go straight to home here at this point in time. As you can see, unit-wise, what we're looking at, Slavs. 1,035 versus 789 units here, straight on to the point. Both sides here, two sets of cash Keshex on point, trying to wipe the heroes as much as possible. Here comes more Keshex coming through. Yu Wong in the middle of it. We've got Tirji, a couple of short swords, trying to defend the home point here as units are falling down. Black Salamanders is taken out and the cap is underway. Slavs taking the cap here. Units trying to come in to support. A couple of heroes. Trying to stay alive on the point. Well, Keshek's come in from either side. Matt falters down here, but there's a good fight coming on down here. IPGs and Keshek's coming in from the Black Necrox here. Good charge from behind there from Necrox. Does he pick up any heroes? That is the question. It is a very difficult decision here at this point in time. What's going to happen? But this Marco with the Kappa, the supply point over there on the left-hand side. Units now 
Need to start setting up. Bench snark coming down with IPGs or is that Pike Militia? Lots of hero lots more heroes alive though on this the side of Slavs. Eleven versus nine at this point in time. Necrox falls down. We have Salamander still fighting on the point with Dan Dan still fighting on the point. Units still doing some work but needing to re set up pretty much from the Slavs. They are kind of down units on the point but they're going to hold and keep pushing there because that supply point is defended there's no way for units to be getting back and they are doing a fantastic job as you can see we'll go this way around now only a couple of heroes trying to defend that point tony and trg defending the point but trg falls down he is once another once and truly out of the match for now i don't think they've got time to come back into it Yu Wong forced off the edge. Yu Wong is out. And Fazy is the only short sword defending the point here. This is the last defense we have before this cap gets pointed. Fazy can't get even back on the point. But Sheppo, out of nowhere with the mall, he will be taken out very, very quickly here. But that is. Oh, the palace guards are holding on. But that is it. Slavs with the win. That is a 2 0 victory. On the side of Slavs, they won the defense, they won the attacks. Why not ban Keshex? I know, Belarus. I have no idea. Keshex, I thought, would have been banned straight away, not gonna lie. But people like Keshex, so they ain't gonna ban Keshex because we like using Keshex. Deja vu, top of the leaderboard, was the MVP for that battle there. Two hero kills, seven assists, plenty of unit kills here, 110 unit kills. Most hero kills here was nine from Famaros as the Polacks, 48 unit kills. All in all, came down to a lot more kills, I think, on that little push there. Good amount of Kessick juices, good fat flanks as well. They, they didn't just go all into one area. They were s splitting their units up into different positions on the attack. They are stopping the defense, managing to kind of get in behind them at any point in time. On the defense, though, Dan Dan done a great job of uh, Kiro killing. Unit-wise, though, there's just nowhere near the same amount of units like, they run out of units a lot quicker. The Trebs definitely helped to be a deterrent and also to go on and win uh, that battle from them. GG, guys. GG. It was a good fight. I will definitely want to have a chat with both the content, uh, the, both the, the captains of that battle, just to kind of see how they felt their battles went and uh, how the team went on. That was, a, all in all, a really interesting battle. We'll look at the post-analysis once again. Obviously, Black Army didn't def defend A or B. They chose against it. They didn't want to defend A or B. They gave Slavs 15 minutes, pretty much, to kind of cap C, or potentiality to cap C, as long as that they needed. With no artillery, nothing like that, it's a lot harder, I think, to do that. Like, definitely a lot harder to do that. Um, but Slavs did a great job of it. They managed to get themselves all organized, waited the time that they needed to get everybody set up. They pushed at the right time, baited, some units into Trebs, and that pretty much made the difference. You can see here, heroes killed was only 18, but on the Slav side of thing, they killed 40 heroes. Oh, they, they doubled the hero kills, right? And almost, oh, not far away from doubling up on the, the troops killed, but definitely a solid, solid attack there from the Slavs. And you know what? I've never seen the Slavs, Blood Boys, um, in the grand scheme of things. It's going to be interesting to see these names again. General combo I've seen in Van Blade, but these boys are definitely showing up. This is going to be a team to watch, guys. Keep an eye on them. One win, their first win of the tournament of the CB Rivals. They grab three points for their victory. So well done, guys. Well done. Let's go, Black Army. <laughs> so Black Army will be bottom of their group at this point in time as things stand. We will have to wait and see how the other results come into play. And we're going to finish up with the prediction there. The prediction goes, and once again, 90% of you voters, guys, voted for Black Army to win. And sorry to say, Slavs, with that win once again, all the war points go to the Hoover pick Slavs for that win. GG to you. GG to you. Um, very well done, very well done.